sauteing the vegetables to accompany the beef teriyaki. Um, we have mushrooms cut to be easily picked up with chopsticks and convenient to fit in your mouth. We have a mixture of snow peas and bean sprouts. The oil should be extremely hot, smoking. Remove it from the heat just a little bit so that it doesn't flare up. And into the hot oil, the mushrooms go. Back on the flame. And the idea that we want to achieve is for the mushrooms to get a nice brown color on them, a caramelization. The oil's got to be hot, the pan's got to be hot, so that the mushrooms don't cool the pan down too much. By caramelizing the onion, excuse me, by caramelizing the mushrooms, you get a much deeper, richer flavor, much more umami. This will be important if you simply sweat them so that they're white, you don't develop as much flavor depth. Once they frown, around the edges and on the top of the caps, and we have a golden brown color. These mushrooms are a little bit moist, so they're taking a little bit longer to brown. We're going to wait until we have a nice brown color, then we're going to simply add our snow peas and bean sprouts. A splash of water is not a bad thing to put in at that point because it'll help facilitate the steaming of the sprouts and the peas so that they don't scorch in the hot pan. And then as soon as the peas are bright green and the sprouts have lightly wilted, we can remove them from the pan and they're ready to be served with the steak. Stop.